Well, hello, it's been a little while, hasn't it? Sorry about that. Since the uh, since the new year, my family have been sick, basically constantly on and off. It's the joys of nursery, isn't it? Having a little one in nursery is just like being exposed to a thousand people's germs on a daily basis. It's wonderful. But I'm here now, back in Empires of the Undergrowth, of course, and we have missed a few things, actually. We've missed a few things. So there's this new year level that we haven't done. There are also a couple of additional extra levels that have been released as well. So if we pop into the uh, doo -doo 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 arcade mode and extra levels, there is Occupation 2 and Tug of War 2. We have missed both of them. So I figured we'll have a go at Tug of War 2 because it's the newest one and then that's probably what you guys want to see most. You've probably seen the other ones a thousand times on other channels. So I mean, you've probably seen Tug of War 2 a thousand times at this point as well. But, you know, I'm doing what I can. Trying to get back into recording again, obviously, as you can see, but time is quite limited in my life. So I'll see what I can do. No promises, but we'll see. I'm going to try to get to the other ones. And of course, there's the adventure as well that we didn't quite manage to do last time as well. So we need to get back to that as well as a host of other things as well. A few levels I haven't managed to do on Insane and that sort of thing. But today, Tug of War 2. Should we put it on hard? I mean, I haven't played the game for quite a while as you can imagine so we'll try on hard it's quite short 10 to 30 minutes so we'll see how we go obviously this is a sequel to the original tug of war an auto battler game mode against an ai opponent with automatic exponent and resource injections so we're going to see how we do we're going to just hit play selected mission and see what happens as i said it's been a little while and i am going to be terrible at this so what have we got we have got lots and lots of ants. Should we start off with just some wood ants, I suppose? Let's just start off with some wood ants. How much food have we got? Not much. Just enough for one at the moment. So let's just carry some more going as they arrive. Can we see the inside of the base? Oh, we can. They've also got a tile. Let's get another one down. Oh, we're not quite there yet. We're not quite there yet? I thought it was 40. Wait, 60. Okay. How come they got two? Oh, there we go. There's a the second one. <laughs> So I want to place the tiles quite next to, near to the queen, quite next to the queen, quite near to the queen to start with. But we don't want to block up the entrance way, I don't think, because that's going to slow down our ants getting out. There goes the first one now. I'm imagining the they've also got their first, well, they got two out straight away. Mm. That's what you get for putting it on hard mode, right? So what else have we got? We've got leaf cutter mages at 150, fire ants at 40. Let's start some fire ants going as well then. Start those down there. Um, slave makers, trap jaws at 90, uh, big headed ant mages at 25. That's quite cheap, yeah, isn't it? 140 themselves. and 24 for a little black ant brood tile. Well, let's go for, have we got, got any food yet? Not quite yet. Well, we'll start off with those in a second. We'll put those over here somewhere, I think. But how are we going? Our ants have only just got outside and they look like they're going to get destroyed immediately. Quite honestly. <laughs> Did I put two different tiles next to each other? No, I didn't. One just decided to run into a melee straight away. So we've got one coming down towards our queen straight away. Hoping this one hatches quite soon so you can take care of it. The queen is in imminent danger. I think I made an immediate mistake. Oh, so yeah, we've already made a terrible mistake because they're going straight for the door and not for the queen. So I should have put them behind the queen straight away. Not sure how this is going to work out. <laughs> What a terrible start. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played. Well, I do like this little uh, choke point we've got right there, though. That's quite nice. We have got we should be able to take care of this one. They might get through the melee one. Yeah, we've got rid of it, though, so that's something. That one is just whittling away our queen. Are you going to see the queen's being attacked? No, you're not. Okay. Let's pop a couple of those a little bit closer, then, and see if we can actually deal with this queen at some point. This one here... Otherwise, we're going to lose almost immediately to the point where I might just restart the video and pretend this didn't happen. Let's see what let's see what happens. Oh, so we actually got over to their side of the map. The problem with having this one here is you get a bonus for having um, yeah, control of the map, if you like. And right now, we do not have control of the map, not by a long shot. Are they going to be able to take care of this guy? Two v one. One's gone, but it's down to half health. No, no is the answer. Okay. Well, well, we'll carry on. We'll see how it goes. Maybe this is going to go really, really badly. Let's let's find out. I might just spawn a few more of these down just because they're nice and cheap. I want to get some numbers out in the field, really. The ants must protect the queen. 
So we've got three, four ants coming there, only, only two on their way over. So that's not going to be entirely great. We've finally taken care of that one, so our queen is now safe, which is something. That's something. We could probably do with... What did I make that one? Is that a fire ant? Yeah, we'll fire ant. We'll probably do some more fire ants. So let's pop another fire ant down there. As you can see, our income is already terrible compared to the enemies. We really need to try and get control of the center of the map. I'm hoping this little barrage over here will do some good in that regard. Trying to keep an eye on my food at the same time. That's what I get for putting it on hard straight away, right? I should have, uh, should have known that I would suffer immediately. We should be okay here just taking out two of them with a the little armor we've got coming. They've got some reinforcements coming, but they're quite staggered, so that's not too much of a problem, hopefully. Let's get another fire ant down. If you've been watching any of the streams, I do still have a, a pain in the behind cough. Uh, it just always happens with me with colds. It just always settles on my chest and stays there for about 400 years. It's got to be a good sign, right? So if, I will obviously try to mute, and, and if I do miss any, get rid of them in post. But if any do sneak through, I'm just going to do my usual apology up, up front and say that it is not my intention to cough into your uh, ears all the time. But we'll see how we go. I wouldn't mind getting another ranged one in, so we might wait for the food to go up. Our income is pretty much equal with the other queens now, and they've only got the three tiles. Oh no, they're spreading them out quite far. I wonder if that's another lesson I should be learning. Let's find out in a minute. Hey, well, we've got our other ranged one down, enough food for that. We are still receiving the bonuses, and we're doing okay currently. Let's see if we can keep this up. Let's see if we can keep this up. How much were the, um, were they 25? We've got 24, annoyingly. Slightly frustrating. And what were these again? Big-headed one, 40, and little black ants. Oh, they are 24. Let's start one of those going as well, then. Let's start those, like, here. And we'll get another ranged one. Oh, no, because that's 60, so we'll get another fire ant. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I don't even know what to place now. Oh, that's a pain. Yeah, they were going to go there, weren't they? Oh, and some pain in the behind. But it doesn't really matter. We're not going to be upgrading anything, I don't think, are we? Or oh, maybe we are. Okay, well. Another mistake to add to the to the tally. So they've now got quite a nice little um, army there that's built up as we've, been, as we've been whittled away. Let's hope we can take care of that relatively soon. A couple of them have got quite low health. One nicely placed shot would take care of at least one of them. If you could go for this one, that'd be great. Uh, we've got a little bit of food again. Were these the 24s? Yeah, let's get a couple more of these out. I'm thinking that to start with, numbers are going to be preferential. And we've got a nice little army coming up here, so we'll see how we go. Come on, take care of that melee one. Yep, and then those these ones should go down quite quickly. They are now receiving that little bonus, though, of course. We have 50 food. You're 60, you're 40. I wouldn't mind getting some more ranged, I think. We've got quite a few melee ones to so try and hold them back. But is it more important just to get stuff down for now? Maybe. Yeah, okay, let's go with another fire ant. Use that food up. And we'll go with another one straight away as well. As long as we can keep this sort of central channel free, that's where I'm going to be quite happy. We are receiving bonuses, apparently, but I mean, that is pretty close. So we are all melee at the moment, but it looks like they're all ranged, so they should smash through them pretty quickly, in theory. In theory. And we've got a couple of ranged now coming to try and help them out, but our melee ones have taken a bit of a pound in. I like that we're receiving bonuses, but we're still below the enemy queen. Yeah, only, oh, there's, oh, there's, I was going to say there's only two melees left, but as I said that, they got killed. So that didn't last very long. We've got a little bit of food, though. Let's get another ranged in place. How's their nest looking? Not bad, really. Not bad. It's interesting they have to place the food down for the food to go somewhere. There's obviously no way in the game code for them just to remove the food completely. That's kind of interesting. Let's get another... Oh, that's the wrong one again, isn't it? It's the big-headed mages. They go there. The fire ants are those ones. Remember that. Remember that. 
you clown. Yeah, those ranged ones are not going to last long. We've got a few melees coming in, though, so that might not be too bad. We do have 24 food, so let's get one of these down. I think it's probably better to spend the food when we've got it, if we can. Let's actually get another fire ant down. We're still maintaining control, but we still are below them, though, and they do have a nice little army that's built up whilst we've been uh, controlling the territories. So we're definitely not going to last very long against that. trying to keep an eye on the food all the time so we can use it as soon as it comes in because that's another thing that's going to trip me up not realizing that food is coming and can be used let's go for a couple more of those ones so you've got quite a few going out there they got some coming out but not as many as us this is where i'm hoping the numbers will matter but maybe with this choke point numbers don't matter so much because you can only realistically have a what, two or three ants attacking at once well, yeah, they can just about squeeze past there So let's go with another fire ant. Just trying to keep an eye on the fight, see how it's going. We've got a nice little range contingent there, but they've just broken through our melees. And also the range have blocked off the melee ants, which is the worst possible scenario for that. That's a bit of a pain. So they get a little bonus from just getting to there, and they're up to 62 income. Crazy. Crazy. A little bit of food in again. Let's get another fire ant. We're going to have to stop using that. Uh, we can't really go up any higher than that. I wouldn't like to. We have managed to hold them off in the central position, though. I did think they were going to manage to break through, so that's something. That's I think that's quite positive. That's nice. But again, the ranged answer of time kind of blocking off the... Uh, oh, we can get another another range down. Oh, yeah, we're not doing too bad. This is going a little bit better than I thought. After that sort of slightly disastrous start, I thought we'd be um, overwhelmed quite quickly, really. But we're doing okay. What I really want to happen is for our income to start eclipse in there so that's what we sort of need to happen to be in a position where this is going to be um, feasible let's increase these a little bit there's a couple more ants in the field so this is looking pretty good at the moment we've got although they're saying that a lot of a lot of ants are taking quite a bit of damage so they're not going to last very long and we have almost equaled the income which is something But they're starting to break through our melee ranks now. We might be okay. Might keep this little back row in place if like, these other melee ones can catch up in time. A little bit more food in place. Let's get another fire ant down. Lovely. Everyone storm out. Storm the gates. Beautiful. So numbers-wise, we are definitely managing to uh, do better than them. They're obviously going for the more expensive ants. Hopefully, my tactic works out in the long run. That would be nice. That's the plan. Anyway, we'll see how far that goes. How has everyone been anyway? Like I say, it's been quite a while. I think this is the first video I've done since Christmas. The first week, or well, the first week of January, we were okay. But then after that, it all went to pot a little bit. And like I say, we've just had a constant run of flus and colds and bugs and all sorts of things. So, how was your Christmas? How was your New Year? I hope everything was fantastic. Hope you all had a wonderfully festive, jolly time. Oh, we've got lots of food in. Let's get another ranged in. Oh, and immediately got more food. Let's just go for more fire ants for the minute. And another one of the cheapy cheeps. Just to use that food up. And let's have another look at what everything costs. That's 150. That's 40. That one is 65. 90. We know that's 24. No, that's... 20, no, that's 25. 140 and 24. So 65 and 90 are sort of what we'll... Oh, we got a 65 available. Let's get a... Is that a slave maker? Yeah, let's get a slave maker down, just seeing as we have enough food for it. So they've got a lot of ranged in there, so it only takes one or two shots to really destroy anything we have coming in. 
So although they're going to be quite glass cannon and they'll go down quite quickly, we don't really have enough. Oh, here we go, though. Here we go. That's more like it. Come on, troops. Oh, and now they've got some melee in place to allow their huge range contingent to actually have some impact. And we've got some range, but they're about to block off our melees again, I would say. Although we're doing okay for the minute. And when they've managed to push forward a little bit, if we can take care of those. And now it's a range versus range battle, but they have significant numbers. And they are going to absolutely destroy us. But we're holding them off. We're holding them off, which is the main thing for now. Again, it'd be nice if we were actually earning more food than them, because it basically means they've got an advantage the entire time we're doing this, even if we are controlling the field. That's it. Hatch my minions. Go to war for me. It's just a constant... Constantly add into their ranged army though, which is proving very difficult for us. So let's ourselves put down another ranged one. We've got 24, so we'll put down another cheapy cheap. I'm trying to leave a little bit of space just so we've got some room to grow. I don't want to leave as much space as they're leaving just because of the travel time, really. We want to give uh, as much opportunity for our ants to get out quicker than theirs as we can. I'd say they're in a really good position, actually. It doesn't look like they're in a good position because we are, we're in control of the field, but the number of range they have there just means that before we can even get close to them, they're going to start wiping out... Well, as you can see, they're wiping out our ants almost immediately every time. And now they're going to start receiving bonuses. Well, we've got a large melee contingent coming up, which I'm hoping is just going to absolutely rinse through this before these arrive. Another 60 food. Let's get another range down. Yeah, so we did okay there. We took care of most of their range, though they still got another six at the back there and another two. Oh, no, they're melee, aren't they? Oh, no, they are ranged. But now they just have range. So we've got a few moments to try and take care of as many of these as possible, and I'd say that's gone okay. Now it's a ranged versus ranged battle. But we've got the numbers at the minute, but yeah, here they come. But here we come as well. Maybe we should have started off placing them right next to the front, these, these two sort of core groups. If we manage to fail this, if, there's no guarantees, we might be okay. But yeah, I think we'll start with placing the, the ranged and the fire ants right at the front of the nest. It doesn't seem like it should make a lot of difference with just cutting down those few seconds of travel time. It's all going to add up. Oh, we've got lots and lots of food in place. Let's get another range down, I think. And we can get another cheapy cheap. Get another cheapy cheap in. And they're basically just cannon fodder, but they seem to be doing all right for us at the moment. And I don't want to be saving up for the big boys and just having opportunities where we should be placing ants where we're not able to. They were 90, weren't they? So let's go for another slave maker instead. We've pretty much taken care of everything, but we've got a whole bunch coming in again. But again, this huge range component at the back is just gonna it's gonna do their do their job well, isn't it? Let's get a fire ant down. I think we can get two fire ants down. Let's do that. Creeping up towards 90 food a time. Which one was 90? Was it the trap jaw? Yeah. As soon as we get 90 food, we'll get a trap jaw down. Trap jaw down. For some reason, that was very difficult to say. Now they've got a big old melee army coming in. 
And there's ours, but we are down to no range whatsoever. Yeah, this little choke point is a pain. So this wasn't in the previous map. I don't know if you saw the maps really when I was looking at the levels before, but... Ooh, time for a trap draw. But, um, yeah, this choke point wasn't in the previous map. I think it was just open. So this little choke point does make quite a lot of difference into how the battles play out, really. So it's just a range versus range. We do have some melee ones at the back, but again, they're struggling to get past. So they have all been decimated. Whole bunch of food and again, a couple more fire ants. Yeah. Why not? I'm sure there are already plenty of guides out there on the best tactics for this map, but obviously I haven't looked at any of them because I want to... I say try and figure it out for myself, but fail miserably and the wait for you guys to tell me what I did wrong is probably more accurate, isn't it? It's another 80 food. Let's get another ranged one down. So that seems to be where we're suffering at the moment by not getting enough of a ranged rear guard force in place. Well, there's our first trap jaw. Yay. Do your thing, please. Oh, he did. He's smashing through the ranks. He's smashing through the ranks. I think he's gone or he's about to go, though. Yeah, he's just gone. Look. Oh, we've got lots and lots of food. 100 food again. So let's get another trap jaw down. And next time we'll be able to get another one as well. But again, they're being blocked off with the ranged. Ah! Oh, and they destroyed all of our ranged forces. Although they are largely suffering the same problems, of course, so it's not the complete end of the world. So it seems like I have the upper hand at the moment, like I've been in control of the map more than uh, more than I haven't been. Apart from that disastrous start, hopefully that bodes well. I don't like going onto the enemy map though and just seeing all of those hatch at once. That's less enjoyable for me. Let's get another trap jaw down. It's another range versus range fight apart from this one dude. Slave Maker's gone out there and has been decimated almost immediately. But we should be able to whittle down their range numbers quite quickly now, I would hope. I would like to think. Yeah, let's just go with another trap jaw for now. Whilst we're getting the money for these harder hitters. It's going to have another run through just to refresh my memory. 60, 150, 40, 65. What was the 65 again? The Slave Maker, of course. 90, 25, 140, and 24, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just the same thing happening over and over again. Their massive damage dealing ranged armies just taking care of us every time. I don't know if this is the same music from the previous Tug of War, but as with pretty much every song in this game, I absolutely love it. Love it. Whoever does the music for Empires of the Undergrowth just needs like a needs like a medal, needs an award or something. Range versus range fight again. I'd say we have the higher numbers, but they are being reinforced quite quickly. Ah, but we have managed to, I was going to say we managed to sneak our melee through our ranged army, but no, the ranged army was just decimated and that's what was going on. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's get another range down. It's not quite enough food for another, uh, another harder hitter, but that's fine. We'll go with uh, another... Whatever it is. Big headed out major. I'd 
love to start thinking about upgrading our ranged, really, because I think that's really what's going to make the massive difference. But it just seems at the moment that's not going to be the best use of food. Maybe not until we can got a bit more of a tanky front end that can uh, hold them off for a little bit longer. Because if we could get some like upgraded ranged in there, it would just make all the difference. This split between our incomes is getting higher every time. <clears throat> in a minute, it's going to be at the point where their split is enough just to get another ant down entirely. And that's going to be causing us some problems. Yes, I'd like to have thought those two would get through their range components quite quickly, but the number of range they had there meant that wasn't really an option. But now we should be okay because their melee is going to be largely held off for a minute. So I'm hoping we'll get through those quite quickly. Oh, we've got another bunch of food coming, so I must have missed one. So that's poor management on my part, of course. <clears throat> this is looking quite good. Number of melee troops in place and quite a large ranged army in the background as well. Although our melee army is now already been decimated, of course. Of course. It is a reoccurring theme. Get a couple more range down. Oh, they've just started receiving bonuses instead. So their bonuses are now 46. They have a 46 food bonus over us, which is um, painful. A painful difference to have to try and consider. <clears throat> they really have gone heavy on the range, haven't they? Oh, let's go back down. We're starting to get to the point where we can start thinking about getting um, some bigger ants out, though. Maybe, maybe. What are they, 140 and 150? 90, 140, 150, yeah. So we'll keep an eye out for that. I might just get bunch of fire ants with that injection of food. I was going to class them as fodder, but basically everything in this level is fodder, isn't it? Just getting rid of it all as quickly as possible. Just hold their lines at bay. Ideally, so our range troops can come and pummel them, but yes, we are losing that game, I would say. Another range versus range fight against their far superior numbers. Oh no, melee ones come in just to absolutely destroy us as well. Wonderbar, wonderbar. Does our queen heal in this level? She does, okay. So the damage that was done in the early game has been rectified. That's something. Maybe when we get like a couple of tanky units out, maybe then we'll start thinking about upgrading our range. What I want to do is start seeing our range units upgrading before theirs, ideally. <laughs> I don't want to be playing catch up on every front, but again, their food is going to be... I doubt they're holding on to a lot. No, of course they're not. That would be foolish on their part. Foolish on their part. So I'd like to see this range whittled down quite fast because all of the melees are stuck. Sort of what we saw, that's sort of what we saw. So I think we're gonna get one of our big boy majors in next. Yeah, let's get a big boy major in. Let's pop those there. So they are gonna to have to walk over that, but that's just, you know. Nothing much we can do about that. Maybe we just suck it up and just put everything right in here. Like one thing here, one thing here, one thing here, one thing here to start with. Just accept the slightly slower walking speed, but proximity to the uh, entrance to the nest. It's 
very even at the moment. It's very even, but they have a significant amount of food more than us. Which I know I keep saying, but there's only so much I can really talk about with the level. Just watching their melee units just whittle through ours, but we seem to have done okay. That couple of trap jaws got through, one was killed immediately, may not even have got attack off. But look at the stream of our numbers coming. I know they get destroyed like immediately, but it's still nice to see that stream coming in. Trying to keep an eye on the blue guy to see how long he lasts, but there's such a chaotic melee going on, it's very difficult to tell. I might get one more of the uh, big hand, big headed ant majors down. Or super soldiers, sorry, not majors, because those are the majors. Yes. Which if we hold this position for just a fraction longer, we'll get with the next income of food. And then maybe I'll look at upgrading some of our ranged units. So if we can get them upgraded, I don't know whether they are uh, the splash damage type. Does it say in some way? No, it doesn't. So I don't know what, uh, what their bonuses are. But either way, if we can get some upgraded mages in, everyone holds them in place, the, the range come in and just destroy them. That's the plan. So it seems like they haven't thought about upgrading anything themselves yet. Let's do that. Let's get a couple of those upgraded, and we can get another uh, one of these in. May as well use the food if we've got it. So we should start seeing, not this time, I don't think, although saying that, it doesn't, if you upgrade them, it upgrades them basically straight away, doesn't it? So somewhere in here, there will be a couple of level two, oh, there's one, look. It's gone. <laughs> Lasted mere seconds, but still. Oh, got all that food again. Let's do some more upgrades. I'm going to go with another one of these. The big-headed majors. So no, I haven't got particularly efficient shaped nests, not quite as efficient as theirs are looking, but I don't think that's going to matter all that much. Hopefully, he says, fingers crossed. Although saying that, yeah, it's messed up that a little bit, but that's not too bad, I suppose. And that means we can get another fire ant in. Man, that range is just crazy when they just have like 20 down there just pummeling like four guys. This is nothing they can do about it. 190. 190 food. Oh, so close. Let's get another fire ant. See one of our, okay, yeah, they're all they're pretty much all represented our level twos there. I'm hoping they're going to start having a bit of impact. This is the exactly what we want to see, really. Just our melee guys just getting whittled down and holding off everyone so that these guys can pummel them into oblivion. There's our first level three. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. I'm not as fussed about upgrading the melee, really. They're just there just to be destroyed. I know upgrading them will help, though, obviously, but I feel like upgrading the ranged ones is going to have a bigger impact. Just having a look at look at their things. I can't see any upgraded ones in their roster yet. I'm really hoping this is the thing to do. Couple more level threes. Ideal. We'll get another fire ant. Why not? This is where we're going to struggle, though, where it's just range versus range. That's where any of our upgrade bonuses are going to have a much reduced impact because they're going to be whittled, out, whittled down so much faster regardless because they're actually getting attacked. Another level three. I'll take it. I'll upgrade that one as well in preparation. It really is a terrible shape, but hey-ho. We don't want to upgrade everything. Just enough. Just enough. 
They're on about 40 extra food currently, whilst we control the map. I want to see some of these level 3s coming in, because you're going to make the difference, guys. While we've got this melee group there... Hard to say for sure, but it seems like they're having an impact. But now we've got very little melee to take care of them, but hopefully that little break they had with them. Oh, we've got a couple of trap jaws gone down there too. Yeah. I would say those level threes are having a pretty major impact. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Oh, it's okay. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. That's what I like to see. If we can get all of those ranged troops out there quite far away, which is a little frustrating, but we'll see how it goes. Because really, we're at a massive disadvantage whilst those threes aren't in place now, because we've invested so much food into them. Can we get any more upgraded successfully? Or well, probably this one if we do those and that one, but we're not going to do that one. Let's put a tile down there. So I might do that next time. Yeah, see, we had much reduced numbers there, but I'd say we held our own quite successfully, really. Might be start time time to start thinking about getting some big old mages in. But maybe for the first instance we'll just pop that one down there. Upgrade that. And if we upgrade that and get another one in. Can we get one in there? Is that going to be within the Queen's range? Well, we can get one in there. Okay, perfect. So that means we'll be able to upgrade that one next time if we do that one as well. Okay, ideal. What we really need to do is push them into this area. If we can get them down here, we'll be in a significantly improved position. And what are 90? The trap jaws. Let's get another trap jaw down. How is their base looking? Huge is the answer to that terrifying question. Oh, I did actually want to go down to my base. Yeah, let's get our first actual big major in. Let's pop him there. And let's get another ranged in. See, if we could hold them here, if we could get some more melee through to hold them there, which we're not going to have for some time. That would be perfect. But you can see how much difference those those level 3s are making though, can't you? We are actually able to hold our own against a larger group of ranged now. This is going to be the problem. All of these coming in. All these melee ones come to spoil my fun. I think I'd want my main sort of source. Probably the fire ants, right? Yeah. Oh, lots more food again. Let's get another trap jaw down as well. Yeah, here we go. Let's bring the big boys out. Let's bring out the big guns. See, we're actually beating them back a little bit now, I'd say. It's the first time I think we've really held this sort of distance for a while. I think we've been down here like in the early game, but it's nice just to be holding that quite comfortably. In fact, let's look at upgrades. If we do those two, yeah, we can do the one in the middle there. That'll be the next thing we target. Oh, look at the size of that ranged army, though. Look at it. Come on, big boys. Come on now. You know what you need to do. I can't watch you though. It's another level three in place. Wonderful. I really think that is the way to go. 
Feels like it's a bit of a turning point in the level. Really. Look at that. There's no one holding us off, and we're almost at the rat. We're just almost at their nest. Ah. Oh. We've got some more big boys coming out. Or big girls, I should say. Got a whole bunch more food. I might just focus on ranged for them. And I just wanted to see where we were placed with them. I might just start spreading them all sort of down here. Give up on the fact they're going to be moving slower through the tiles. It's just a fact of life. Look at that! Look at that ranged army. That's insane. Yeah, they got two big, maybe three big tiles of ranged. But we're doing okay. Got lots more food again. Let's get some upgrades in place. Get that one soon as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The entrance to your nest. How does that feel? How does that feel, Queenie? Hey? Like, no range. Here come all the ranged guys. Those melee guys have just been holding them there just so the rest of them can catch up after they're all dead, essentially. In fact, I might as well just do that, I think. Really just get those tank units out of there. It looks like they're not actually attacking the ones at the front. A little bit of confusion, perhaps, with the uh, the nest entrance going on. It's very hard to tell. Very hard to tell. See, there's no way, really, the enemy should be... Oh, we're actually in the nest! The enemy should be losing this. Not when they've been getting f extra food. Even now, we're in their nest, and we're still getting less food than them. That shouldn't even be possible. It shouldn't be a thing. Have we done it? we just done it! We just done it. <laughs> Wasn't even watching because I assumed that they would take us out beforehand. Oh well, there we go. Wonderful. One. Oh, there. Oh, it's a bit late now, girls. A bit late now. What are you gonna do? Your queen's dead. Oh. Genuinely thought I'd have to have a go or two at that and then go back to medium. But yeah, no, we did it. Smashed it. Excellent. Look at that. One and done. And I didn't even have to have a, such a bad attempt that I had to quit and start again and not record it or not put it in the recording. Look at that. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Genuinely a bit shocked. Genuinely a bit shocked. Those level threes. Oh, those level three range dance made all the difference. I think the tanks really helped as well at holding the stuff back so they weren't just immediately pummeled to death. But those level three range, they were the ones that won that for us. It's going to hit play more just to see what's going on. Are they not going to... Are their eggs not going to hatch anymore because the queen's dead? Oh, I thought their eggs would still carry on spawning. Maybe they will after 30 seconds, but by then... Like, what are we actually... Are we just hanging around the top of their nest now because the queen's dead? Yeah. To play more is a bit of a... Uh, misleading thing to happen, really, because nothing actually happens. But there we go. Let's go and look at all of our answers crowding around the top of the nest. Excellent. Oh, wonderful. Well, next time then, we'll have a look at occupation, I think. We'll go back to that one. Um, and then we'll, if it's still around, we'll do the seasonal level. If there is an Empires update, I might try to not install it uh, in the short term so I can actually have a go, go at the Empires um, Chinese New Year level, which I know is quite different. It's to do with collecting chilies, I think, isn't it? If I recall correctly from some of the blurb I saw somewhere. And then, yeah, then we'll have to go back to uh, whatever the one was where we failed miserably and it's like a two-hour level and we lost at the very end and it was very frustrating. We'll have a go at that as well awesome well it's good to be back guys i hope you've enjoyed this if you have like comment subscribe all those good things don't forget to come along on wednesday evenings and check me out when i'm streaming that's 7 30 ish p.m uk time currently doing hogwarts legacy and having a lot of fun just got my broom which is the best thing that's ever happened so come along and say hello there if you're around otherwise i'll see you next time in empires of the undergrowth and as always thank you very much for joining me